Okay, this is the coin problem where it tells you that half are from England, a t sixth are from France, and a sixth are from Switzerland, and one twelfth are from Italy, right? But they tell us that seven are from Spain. Yeah. Okay, so how did you solve the problem? Well, we divided it up into 12 boxes. So Italy is one half, which equals seven. One, one twelve. One twelve, right. which equals seven. Switzerland is one six, which equals 14. Spain is seven, which also equals one twelve. France is one six, which equals 14. England is one half, which equals 42. The total is 84. Uh, seven from Italy, 42 from England, seven from Spain, 14 from Switzerland, and 14 from France. That's perfect. And what's the what's the trick to these problems? You take a piece of paper and start doing what? You fold it. Yes. You fold it. Into yeah. You fold. Find the smallest fraction that's in the problem. Fold the paper into it. You see? And this is Autumn's. Your Autumn, right? No, that's mine. Did I was doing good to know her name, dude. It's only the second day. I'm awesome. And Alexis worked on this too. Good job. Okay. Let me see. We, you got, I don't want to put faces in this. Okay. So someone want to talk real quick? It's the same thing. Okay. What's the trick? The trick is to write seven in... in what did you have to do first, though, dude? Because you didn't have this box at first. What did you do? First thing that we did, we drew the box. Okay. Then we put sevens in each. Then we all um, added it. How did you know there were sevens though? The dancing sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did? We, stumbling a little bit. What is the uh, reason that there's sevens? Um, what was the? It was in the problem. It said, "What gave you the seven? Um, seven were from. S seven. From. From seven were from Spain. Right. Okay. And the, the the other the smallest fraction was a what? Was um was a one twelfth. One twelfth from. One twelfth from Italy. From, from Italy. Italy. Okay. Yeah. So what the trick to this problem is when you see the fractions, you get a piece of paper and start what? Start drawing boxes. Well, if you fold it, yeah. the the paper represents the whole or the whole collection of coins. And if you can fold it into the fractions that are named in the problem, then you can start labeling it, and you have the visual cue and clues to how to solve the problem. It really helps. You guys did a good job. Okay, hold on. Can I see what you guys have? Move back a little bit so you can get the prop. Okay, move your whole body back. Okay, so here's the coin problem. And so somebody just speak and we'll figure out how this works. Okay, does anybody want to talk? That each box represents seven coins. So then we. Well, how did you know that? And how many boxes did you know to draw? Uh, 12. Because. The and one of the questions were one out of one twelfth, so then we twelve, mm -hmm. and then Italy. Italy. It told you that the Italy was one twelfth, right? Mm -hmm. And then it said Spain was just seven total, right? Yeah. And then, Sp then it told us Spain had seven coins in this box. So that means each box had seven coins. So then we wrote Italy, and then. Like, then, I know you're doing a good job. Okay, half of them from England, and you just put seven in each one, right? Yeah. Because all the twelfths are equal. One twelfth is equal to one twelfth. forty-two, so all these are forty-two coins. Right. Forty-two. And then if there's one sixth, which is the same as two twelfths, that means how many coins are from Switzerland? It's fourteen coins. Fourteen. Then fourteen, and then seven, seven, forty-two, and then well, it's, and then all in all is eighty-four coins. Because you're just taking 40, six, two, seven, plus four, times. Se seven times makes twelve. Oh, tw sometimes twelve, and then and then, then you know you, since it's forty-two, you know there's gonna be forty-two on the top. And there's a trick in the problem. Eighty-four. Get the Get the problem out of the book for a second. I share a trick. Did you find the number seven and the number twelve in the problem? Yes. Let's lay this down. Is it page ninety-five, Fred? Right? Yeah. There we go.
go. Is the number 12 and 7 in the problem? Show me, point to it. There's 12. So in the 12, and then right? There's 7. So in the problems, can I just give you like a trick? The question says, how many is 7 times 12? Usually the smallest fraction, take that denominator and multiply it by the by the whole number. Because most of the time this 7 is equal to the smallest fraction. 7 times 12. Wait till you see a couple more. That was really good. Stacy has a collection. Oh, we already read the correct problem. Okay. Oh, so um, England would be half of all these six boxes. Hey boys, we're on a mid video right now, so yeah, I couldn't play. So England would be half yeah. of all the 12, so it right. would be 6. Okay, so then the next part is uh, 1 sixth are from Switzerland and France, right? That's good. So why are you putting Switzerland in two boxes? Because you're right. Because it says it's only one sixth, but you put it in two twelfths. Why? Why is that correct? If you divide two twelfths by two, it's one sixth. Oh, that was a smart way of saying it. Good job. Okay, so and isn't Switzerland the same as France too? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we have a couple things. One twelfth are from. Twelfth are from Italy. No, one twelfth. I think I got one twelfth from Spain. Yeah, one twelfth from Spain and seven are from Italy. Okay, so let's put those. In. One twelfth is from. One twelfth is Quite from Spain, and then. And then one six is from Italy. One twelve. Okay. So we know that that's seven, right? Put seven. Oh yeah. So now, if we know that one twelfth is the same as seven, twelve twelfths is twelve times seven, right? Uh -huh. Yep. Okay.